so welcome again to this particular session question number eight and nine are remaining of this particular topic so we are going to now begin this particular session with 8.8 .8. it's a strong question just pay attention and in this question uh, it is given that ABC ABCD limited Delhi have a branch and branch in Sydney in Australia so branches are in Sydney Australia which is an integral for an operation of the company correct so that pin branches are situated outside India head office is in Delhi and information is furnished <coughs> this is the first question wherein besides what we call branch besides branch we are having information with respect to head office also correct this time trial balance of daily head office is also given to you and <coughs> sorry and besides that trial balance of branch is also given to you so share capital you can see the first few informations are related to only head office for example in this question share capital head office only no reserve and surplus of head office only land head office only then besides we have buildings uh, that is at cost but it is related to head office only and further de building depreciation reserve that means provision for depreciation reserve is also given that this information is also related to what we call head office you must have noticed that till up to this particular till up to this particular point information is related to only head office now as far as plant and machinery is concerned head office plant and machinery is 2000 and depreciation reserve is equal to 5 lakh you can say because figures are in thousand these are in Indian currency and as far as branch is concerned in terms of dollar Australian dollar plant is at cost 100 and depreciation reserve is 20 besides that in this case we have then debtors and creditors debtors and creditors of head office and debtors and creditors of the branch opening stock of head office and opening stock of branch is given now this time it is given branch stock reserve account 65 this information needs a little bit of discussion in the sense it could be a possibility that in this particular question of head office might be sending the goods to the branch at some loaded price we have done so many questions of invoice price that is loaded price also known as correct if you remember if there is a closing stock at the end of the year we used to write a stock reserve or loading on closing stock towards the debit side correct because whatever stock is left some margin is included in it in order to extract it we put it towards the debit side so now that unreal we also call it unrealized profit see in the closing some stock is remaining with the branch and there is some profit margin in it we call it what we call loading on closing stock or stock reserve correct or even we can call it unrealized profit because that profit margin is not realized because stock remained unsold at the end of the year quite obviously that stock reserve next year will become opening balance so actually this branch stock reserve which is given to you it must be related to the closing stock closing stock of branch whatever because head office was is in this question we will see later on that head office is sending the goods to the branch at loaded price or invoice price you can call it correct and you will see later on that and we will say we will see later on also that rate of profit is cost plus 25 percent it is given in this question so last year whatever goods must have been sent by the head office to the branch some of the goods must have remained unsold so this is the profit margin of those goods so that is why in the current year it is written towards the credit side reason being is that last year that stock was unsold that last year this profit remained unrealized so now in the current year closing stock will become opening stock obviously in the current year goods will be sold and this margin will get realized correct so we will see that this 65 rupees will be later on taken to the credit side of profit and loss account correct we will talk about it later on also it is related to only head office 
and then cash at bank of both this department is given purchases and sales and then we have goods sent to branch 1500 and branch has recorded see when head office will send goods it will record it towards its credit side branch will record the same thing towards its debit side so corresponding value of 30 is 1500 corresponding value of goods received by the branch which is 30 dollar will be equal to 15 lakhs because these figures are in thousands is it clear to you so then we have managing director salary managing director salary is related to only head office wages and salary is related to both wages and salary and then rent is related to only only rent is related only to sydney branch then we have in this case office rent office expenses and then we have commission receipts 275 and 100 and now see actually branch is claiming that we are supposed to pay in terms of dollar that is 15 fifteen thousand dollars because figures are in thousands to the head office whereas head office is claiming that we are supposed to receive eight lakh from you indirectly it also means the corresponding value of 15 is equal to this much correct and corresponding value of goods i have already talked about corresponding value of goods 30 thousand dollars is equal to 15 lakhs further in the question it is given that following information is also available with respect to stock now as far as delhi head office is concerned closing stock is rupees 2 lakh however when you are going to put this closing stock in the profit or loss account of head office you will simply write over there 200 because in the table figures are in thousand so you will have to convert it into thousand you will simply write 200 over there sydney is dollar 10 sydney is dollar 10 so it is given dollar 10 and further it is given that all the stock out of stock received from daddy what does it mean that mean whatever stock is whatever stock is remaining with the sydney branch that is out of the goods which head office must have sent during the current year now this is the line which i just wanted to discuss in this question head office is sending the goods to the branch at cost plus 25 percent and that is why there are some reserves however you need not require to do any calculations in it further there are some adjustment provision is to be made for doubtful debts see actually when i will later on prepare because in this question i will have to prepare head office trading and profit and loss account also and branch office trading and profit and loss account also now i'm looking for daters so daters somewhere yes daters are actually 500 daters are 500 so if i will compute 5% of 500 5% of 500 that will be equal to 25 that means provision for doubtful debts with respect to head office is 25 however i cannot compute provision for doubtful debts of branch office right now the reason being is that their daters are in terms of dollar first i will have to convert them into rupee and then after having converted them into rupee i will apply five percent of that to find out the provision for doubtful debts and then <coughs> it is written depreciation is to be provided depreciation is to be provided on building five percent and on plant and machinery five percent obviously when later on you are going to prepare head office trading and profit or loss account and branch office trading and profit or loss account head office trading and profit or loss account and branch office trading and profit or loss account you will have to write depreciation now as far as depreciation on building is concerned now in this trial we have seen that building is related to head office only right this is building building is 1000 there is no building for as far as branch is concerned and depreciation reserve is 200 so how i am going to write the depreciation 1000 actually figures are in thousands all figures are in thousands so i am simply writing 1000 actually it means 10 lakh less reserve there is also some reserve in this question depreciation reserve means provision for depreciation to the extent of 200 so that being 800 is the written down value 
and depreciation at 10% now I will apply. So depreciation will be equal to 80. So depreciation on building as far as head office is concerned that will be of 80. There is no depreciation on building for as far as branch office is concerned because there is no building with the branch. Then on plant and machinery we will have to provide. Now plant and machinery is an item which is given in the trial balance of both. So first we will look here. Plant and machinery cost is 2000. Cost is 2000. And depreciation reserve is 500. So if your cost of plant is 2000. And depreciation reserve is 500. That means written down value is 1500. Written down value is 1500. And we have to give depreciation at the rate of 20%. So I will use 20%. 20% of this will be equal to 300. So depreciation on plant and machinery of head office will be equal to 300. However, as far as branch is concerned, I cannot find out at this moment depreciation because their plant and machinery is not yet converted into rupee terms. That I will convert later on. So these two informations are given. Besides that, you have been given. Besides that, you have been given in this particular question, opening rate is 50, closing rate is 55, average rate is 52, and for fixed asset, the rate is 45. So we shall use 45 as the rate to convert what we call a fixed asset. So in this question, what we have to do, first of all, as the first step as usual will be conversion of <coughs> branch trial balance. So I will have to convert the branch trial balance into Indian currency. But for that I will need a bit I will need a bit of space in this question because otherwise in this page it is very very difficult to do it. So I will have to change the view a wee bit. And if I change the view, the situation is almost like this. So I'm having a bit of more space now, correct? And uh, now we can start the proceedings. Question number 8.8. 8.8. First, let me write here in the books of head office. In the books of head office. Just wait. In the books of the head office now, in the books of head office, and in the books of head office, what I am doing now, I am converting the branch trial balance into reporting currency. So branch office trial balance in reporting currency and reporting currency is rupee. Correct? For that, we have been given figures in Australian dollars. So I will write Australian dollars. Australian dollars. This is Australian dollars. And then I will multiply it with exchange rate. Correct? Exchange rate is rupee in terms of rupee value. I will write here Australian dollars. And I will simply write here dollars. Then I will compute the debit balance. Then I will compute the credit balance. It's a pretty long question, but I just want to solve it completely and thoroughly to make you understand better. We start with, because the branch trial balance, you have seen there is no share capital, no reserve and surplus, there is no buildings, correct? So we start with plant and machinery. As far as plant and machinery is concerned, you must have noticed 
plant and machinery is given to you as hundred dollars look into the column of the branch only rate for conversion of plant and machinery is given in the question 45 you will write here 4500 then we have been given depreciation reserve depreciation reserve as far as depreciation reserve is concerned that is 20 but you will use the same rate to convert it that will be equal to 900 depreciation reserve must be written towards the credit side correct you have to take care of this thing then we have got in this particular case daters as far as daters are concerned that is equal to 60 dollars i will use the closing rate that is 55 to convert it that will be equal to 3300 a rupee in terms of rupee value and then we have got creditors as far as creditors are concerned that is given to you as 20 and you multiply it with the closing rate 55 to get 1100 to get 1100 then we have in this case purchases long question Amount of purchases given to you is 25. Multiply it with average rate. That is 52 in this question. 1300. Then you have been given sales. Amount of sales is 125. Amount of sales is 125 given to you. And then you have average rate. That is 52. 6500 6500 correct then you have got in this case actually i have forgotten to write stock i will write now stock is 25 and i will have to multiply it with the opening rate and opening rate happens to be 50 25 into 50 will be equal to 1250 and then we have got cash so I will write here cash balance cash and bank just four dollars and you multiply it with the closing rate that is 55 you will get 220 and then goods from head office goods from head office and it is given that 30 branch has received the goods and recorded them in their trial balance as 30 However, we need not require any rate in this case because their actual value as I told you is available because towards the credit side, towards the credit column of head office, in the row of goods from head office, you, you see figure of 1500 and then we have been given wages and salaries. So as far as wages and salaries are concerned, wages and salaries, that is 18. 18 only and average rate is 52 so 936 936 then rent 6 into 52 that will be equal to 312 then office expenses are also there in this question. OE office expenses 12 into 52. This is your average rate 624. Then you have commission receipts. This is revenue income. Commission receipts 100. Average rate 52. You will write it towards the credit side and 
nothing else is given in the question. So now the next thing is that you need to tally all these items. 13,942 will be your total and 14,500 will be your credit side total. Since credit side is more, this exchange difference will be considered as loss. Correct? It is loss. 558 will be your loss. This is how you have to convert the trial balance. Correct? After having converted the trial balance, and it is always better when you convert, it is also better to show closing stock. So, as far as closing stock is concerned, just wait. As far as closing stock is concerned, amount of closing stock given to you is Australian dollar 10 only. And you multiply it with 55 closing rate and you will get 550 that is rupees 550 but problem is that all these figures are in thousands and figures below cannot be considered in thousands unless and until word thousand is written so i will have to convert it into thousands in order to convert it into thousand i will have to multiply it with 1000 so 0.55 thousand you can say rupee 0.55 is your closing stock is it clear to you or not? Now, we will prepare Sydney branch and head office trading and profit and loss. This is another demand of the question. Generally, when head office trial balance and branch office trial balance will be given, you will be asked to prepare the combined trading and profit and loss account of the head office and the branch office. So, in this question, now the next step and the next demand of the question should I say, is head office and branch office trading and profit and loss account trading and profit and loss account of course in reporting currency reporting currency is rupee now this is the problem because let me try whether all things all these things can be put here or not it's very difficult to solve the entire question in these ipads so i will try still my level best in one column, I will write head office. This is the information related to head office. In another column, I will write branch office. In another column, I will write head office. In another column, I will write branch office. Figures are in thousand. Correct? At least we have prepared the trial balance now. Isn't it on a branch office trial balance? In Indian currency, and head office trial balance in Indian currency is already available with us. And it is very easy to pick which items will fall in trading and profit and loss account. For example, opening stock, sales, purchases. Correct. At least we know that plant and machinery will not come in the trading and profit and loss daters, creditors. All these items will come only in the balance sheet, even depreciation reserve also. And cash at bank. And then you have... So all these items will fall in the balance sheet, correct? So barring these items, all other items will be presented here. So I will start with opening stock. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find out what is the opening stock of the head office. Now, if you will look into the column of the head office, you'll find that opening stock given is 250. And branch, we have just found out that is in Indian currency that is equal to 220. From op after opening stock, generally we write here purchases. So as far as purchases are concerned, 
look into the column of the head office 275 it is written and branch office we have just converted and found it out to be 1300 then generally we write here sales now sales of the head office is given to us as 600 and sales of the branch is equal to 6500 quite high correct generally after that we write here closing stock closing stock of head office given below is 2 lakh but don't forget to write here 200 because these figures are in thousands and 0.55 we just computed closing stock of the branch then goods received or goods sent to branch when head office will send the goods head office will put it towards the credit side goods sent to branch and head office has sent goods worth rupees 1500 and these goods have been received by branch so branch towards its debit side will write 1500 is it clear to you so far till up to this particular point there should not be any problem and there is only one direct expense in the form of wages and salary wages and salaries so i will write wages and salaries amount of wages and salary of the head office is 100 and of the branch is 936 which we got through conversion so now we will tally this to get our gross profit as far as gross profit is concerned that is equal to 1675 and 1514.55.55 correct when originally this question came into examination at the time there was a controversy with respect to the closing stock figure of the branch it was considered and it should have been a pretty high but anyway whatever figures are available with us we are solving on the basis of that gross profit brought down 1675 i will write here 1675 and then i will write 1514.55 correct now in this particular question we have there are some items like rent however as far as rent is concerned only related to branch is there there, there are no rental expenses of the head office then office expenses head office expenses are 25 and 624 are expenses of branch then in this question there were some adjustments like provision for doubtful debts now as far as provision for doubtful debts is concerned as far as provision for doubtful debts is concerned at the rate of five percent we have to make the provision i told you because debtors of head office when i was explaining the question i will show it to you once again you can see when i was explaining the point head office daters are 500 correct and then i explained it over here that 5% five of 500 will be equal to 25 now we have the corresponding value of the daters of the branch also now that is equal to 300 if you can look here correct this is 300 so i will make a provision at the rate of 5% for the sale because there is an adjustment with respect to this so that provision I will write here at the rate of 5% that will be equal to 165 that will be equal to 165 is it clear to you 5% of 6300 correct so 3300 then depreciation on depreciation on now there are lots of depreciation in this case one is related to building 
depreciation on building. However, building is related to only head office. And we computed the depreciation, you remember here when I was solving the question, when I was discussing the question, sorry. I told you building of the head office is 1000, we subtracted 200 reserve, written down value 800, so 10% will be equal to 80. So I can directly straight away write here 80 as far as depreciation of head office building is concerned. Now coming to plant and machinery. As far as plant and machinery of head office is concerned, again we have computed the depreciation over there itself when I was discussing the question. Once again I will reflect it. Plant and machinery cost is 2000 it is given of head office I am talking about. Depreciation reserve is 500. Return down value is 1500. So 20% of 1500 will be equal to 300. So you can compute depreciation here. You can write depreciation here as 300. Now point is that I have to find out depreciation of depreciation of plant and machinery or branch office also. So in order to compute depreciation of plant and machinery of this, you see here 4500 is the value, correct? 4500 is the value corresponding value now and depreciation reserve is 900 so how i am going to compute the depreciation i am computing it here itself so as to so net value will be 4500 minus 900 that will be equal to 3600 i think so 4500 minus 900 that will be equal to 3600 Correct, 3600. This 3600 is the written down value and you have to apply depreciation at the rate of 20%. So 20% of this will be equal to 720. So 720 will become your depreciation of plant and machinery. Is it clear to you? Depreciation on plant and machinery I have computed here. Is it clear to you? So 720 depreciation, now you can reflect it over here. 720. 720 is your depreciation here. In your solution, I think this figure is wrongly put. It is written, I think, 16, so you better convert it to 720. Correct? And now I will write the balance. One more item is there commission receipts. Now, as far as commission receipts are concerned, head office 275 and 5200. So now we will compute the balance carried down. I haven't still written net profit. I'm simply writing balance carried down. See here, balance carried down will be equal to 1520 of head office, no problem. But what will be the balance of branch allow me a second so balance of branch will be equal to 4893.55 correct this will be this is how you are compute, you are going to compute the balance carried down. Why I haven't written net profit? Reason being is that in this question, I have to do some adjustments with respect to stock reserve. So now below, I will prepare a combined profit and loss account. Whenever you will prepare head office and branch office trading and profit and loss account, after having prepared the, the same, you will also prepare a combined profit and loss account. Why combine profit and loss account? I will let you know. First of all, these balances you write here, balance brought down. Now balance brought down, head office balance is 1520. Branch office balance brought down, actually these are nothing but net profits. 4893.55 correct now from this 
first of all you write here exchange difference because you haven't yet written the exchange difference exchange difference 55 five, I think 558 five or something 558 five was exchange difference so you will write here 558. Then in this question, I was talking about stock reserve, if you remember. In the trial balance of the head office, you have been given stock reserve. Actually, stock reserve, which is given in the trial balance, always means opening balance. And stock reserve means simply loading on a stock. That means this is this was loading against the closing stock last year. That is why it is being reflected in the trial balance of the current year. Now for the current year, it will be considered opening stock reserve and it will be put towards the credit side because now that stock which was remaining unsold till the last year will now or must have been sold out in the current year. So this profit must have been realized now. Now what you are going to write, you are going to write here a stock reserve. It is known as closing stock reserve and closing stock reserve means loading against closing stock. Closing stock reserve. Now first of all let me know how you are going to compute it. Closing stock with the branch at the end of the year is 0.55 and your rate of loading is 1 by 5. Cost plus 25% means 25 by 125. So, because this stock has remained unsold, so profit margin included in it or the loading included in it is 0 0.11 and this is not realized. So, because it is closing, that is why it is being debited. Further in this particular question, one more item is there. If you have if you have paid attention to in the adjustment there is manager's salary have you paid attention to it money there is salary of managing director salary i think it was written in the question in the trial balance sorry somewhere i will show you Right here. This is managing director salary. Is it clear to you? Because he, it is managing director salary, is director of the entire organization. So it is better to reflect managing director salary in the combined profit and loss account. Managing director salary. Managing director salary will be equal to 50. And now you will compute your net profit. Your net profit will be equal to 6509.44 and then you will compute and this is how you will do this particular question. Now, honestly speaking, this question and the next one are absolutely same, are absolutely, absolutely same, correct? Why absolutely same? Just pay attention here. Eight point nine. S N M Bombay Limited is having a branch in Sydney, Australia, similar to the last question. Even in this question, branch is in Sydney, Australia. Sydney branch is integral foreign operation, similar to the last one. Everything is almost same. Even you can see figures still up to figures still up to building are only related with head office. Correct? And now plant and machinery is related to both. Now you know the treatment quite well, plant and machinery, then dep reserve, depreciation reserve against the plant and machinery, debtors, creditors, no problem, stock, no problem, stock reserve, you will take it to the credit side of the combined profit and loss account, at least you know the treatment of this one. 
Now, cash and bank cash and bank balance purchases and sales you can treat them easily goods sent to branch as i told you whatever goods have been sent branch has recorded them at five and this will become the corresponding value and then managing director salary better to write it in the combined profit and loss account wages and salary you have been given rent then office expenses then commission receipts everything is same and this seven is the figure in terms of dollar which branch is claiming that it has to give to the head office whereas as you can see head office is claiming that we have to receive only uh, what we call 120 from you so this will become the corresponding figures correct just wait some time no this gadgetry gets problem now branch had branch account 120 so corresponding figure of 7 is equal to 120 that's fine now in this question one thing i just want to what will be the difference between the last question and this question otherwise 99.999 percent question is absolutely same and you can easily manage this question of your own why i'm saying so just pay attention down over here closing stock in this case of head office is 1 lakh 50 because figures are in thousand when you will write in your profit or loss account write 150 only and as far as Sydney is concerned closing stock is 3125 so first of all what you will do you will convert 3125 with the help of your closing rate which happens to be 53 whatever figure you get whatever figure you get 3125 into 53 that will be equal to 165625 in terms of rupee then you divide it by 1000 reason i told you because you have to write in the profit or loss account in thousands so 165.625 this will become the value of the closing stock of the branch then head office always sends the goods at this value provision you can make as i made earlier even depreciation you can manage but only difference is that this time i this time when i prepared in question number eight i prepared combined profit and loss account i wrote the stock reserve which was given in the trial balance here of trial balance that is considered as opening then i wrote closing stock reserve but when you will prepare the profit or loss account under this question just pay attention this is combined profit and loss account this is the net profit of head office and branch office branch stock reserve i have presented i have written managing director salary i have written even exchange loss correct but but i haven't written in this question a stock reserve on the debit side why i haven't written stock reserve towards the debit side stock reserve that is closing stock reserve which we normally write i haven't written reason being is that in this question closing stock which is available with the which is available with the branch it is given here and this is very important all out of purchases made abroad that means the closing stock this time which is available with the branch is not out of the goods sent by head office it is out of the goods which they might have purchased abroad so that is why when you will solve this question you will not write towards the debit side closing stock because in the closing stock of the branch this time there is no load no loading because closing stock with the branch is not out of the stock from head office so that is why because because closing stock with branch closing stock with branch is not out of is not out of good sent to branch account as was the case in question number eight so that is the reason in this case when you will prepare the combined profit or loss account 
you are not going to write here what we call loading on closing stock as we call it a stock reserve correct so this thing you need to understand otherwise this question and the question which we did are absolutely same i am very sure that you will be able to do this question now so this is all about your branch correct comprehensive each and every question of the module has been taken care of besides that there is another section as you can see lots of mcqs i have put along with answers you must give a try to it and so that to have a better grasp of this particular chapter so hope this particular chapter would have come up to your expectations so shall meet you now in the next session as obviously with something new and so till then it's a fantastic good it's a fantastic what we call goodbye from you here and uh, what will be the next chapter we will talk about it uh, obviously when i will meet in the next session so till then it's goodbye